what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bolt so guys in today's video i'll show you how you can create a self parent tree grid so i hope you're all aware about like what is a tree grid and how you, how you can use it so if you're following my video so few weeks back i have created a video in which i explain how you can create a tree, tree grid with a parent child relationship in that video we have created the tree grid with the parent child relationship from the accounts and contacts so in uh, in that example, basically account was the parent and the contacts, uh, contacts or the child of the accounts. So after that, guys, uh, I was having a few uh, requests to create an example uh, where we can have a self parent tree grid. So what do I mean by a self parent tree grid? A self parent tree grid is the tree grid where the parent and child comes from the same object. Okay, so let's say if I talk about accounts maybe so an account uh, we can we can uh, assume like the ratings of that account could be a parent like uh, so it it is more it is more over basically like grouping by the you know the list so uh, for account the rating could be the parent and the accounts belong to that same rating could be the child of that parent okay so that will be basically the self parent so I have already created the component guys and in this video I'll be just explaining the code and the functionality and I'll show you how you can create the self parent tree grid okay. So uh, let me show you the output first okay. So guys this is the output so here you, you may notice there are two uh, tree grids available okay. So this was uh, this is from the old one uh, which I which I have already explained few weeks back. So in this I'm having account child relationship and account is the parent and uh, contacts are the child's okay. So this was the old uh, tree grid and uh, this is the self parent tree grid guys in which I'm having rating as a parent of account and uh, the accounts which belongs to the same rating will automatically be becomes the child of that specific rating. So let's say if I talk about the warm rating so there are two accounts which belongs to the warm rating and two accounts belong belongs to the hot one belongs to the cold and this undefined means like this account does not belongs to any rating so instead of undefined you may simply have a if condition and maybe you can remove the record maybe you can modify the circle like where rating is not null so it's completely up to you okay so this was the output guys now let me explain the code to you Okay, so this is the HTML part guys. So the HTML part is pretty much similar to the previous example. Here we just have to pass the name of the columns. Okay, the data that needs to be passed here. So in our case, basically it will, it will be accounts list, uh, which will be having ratings as a parent and account as a child. Okay, and definitely you have to pass a key field in every iteration and here i'm also passing high checkbox column so if you will notice in three grid so you'll be having checkbox by default okay so to hide them you may use this high checkbox column okay now let's move to the javascript part so guys in javascript first i'm wiring the account from a function which is get acc list and in this get acc list i'm just having a simple circle let me show it to you yeah here it is so in get acc list i'm just having a basic circle where i'm having select id name phone rating from account order by decent one created date in descending order and i'm having a limit there of course just to you know uh, maintain the flexibility of the data so let me go back to the component three grid self parent here it is okay so here i'm wiring those account using a wired apex and in that i'm first retrieving the data in this account now guys uh, here like the account basically retrieve the account retrieved by the circle will basically return you a list but now for the self parent reason you have to recreate a list i would say so basically we'll be recreating the data uh, for that uh, tree grid account okay so here first i'm having all the accounts in this accounts literal and uh, i'm having it uh, in the json format okay this is just a console just for testing purpose let me remove it and underneath that i'm having another literal which is 
past data okay we'll be using it to create a uh, basically create new table from this data where we'll be having different parent and child this is the id of the parent which is default zero okay and the parent entity so the entity in my case it will be rating so in your case uh, you you may choose the entity as per your requirements in my case the parent entity will be rating okay now here underneath that i'm just creating a loop of that data and i'm creating a empty json record here okay so whenever the loop will run so it will create a json record okay and in that json record i'm passing the required data like id an id i'm passing parent id which will be zero in that case uh, name okay name i'm passing empty basically because uh, like this is an empty record and rating i'm just passing rating of that uh, account okay so let's say when the loop uh, will run first time so the rating could be hot warm or uh, what was the third one cold yeah hot warm and cold and in phone number also i'm passing null okay now if parent id is zero which will be for the first time when this uh, loop runs okay so if uh, the parent id is zero then in past data i'm just pushing the json data which will be the empty row okay with only the rating and underneath that i'm creating children's for that parent record okay so here i'm doing past data i'm putting my parent id and i'm creating children for that parent record so this is basically empty array of children okay then in that array i'm just assigning the accounts that belongs to that specific rating so in this case this is going to be the first records first record retrieved from the database and in parent entity i'm assigning the rating retrieved from that record and after that i'm just increasing the count of the parent entity so let's say if we are retrieving the data and uh, let's say for first record we may retrieve like test account one which with cold rating so here in parent entity we will be having cold and here we will be having test account one okay so this will be the end of the loop then the loop will run itself again and for the next time the parent id will be one so it will go to the else condition now here it will basically check like if the existing rating is similar to the previous rating which was in parent entity okay so here let's say in the case of the same rating which was cold previously so it will go to the else condition okay but if the rating is different let's say if the next record rating is warm okay so this condition will go to uh, this condition will be false and it will go to the else record otherwise if the rating is same so it will go to the if condition so if the rating is same if the next record rating and the previous record rating is same so what i'm doing here i'm just inserting the record into that past data again okay but i'm not inserting the i'm not inserting the parent here so the parent will be same for this record also okay and i'm just pushing the children so guys if you will notice the first time i have just created the children array but this time i'm just pushing the children because the parent record is going to be same for this record okay and let's say if the rating is different from the previous account so in that case it will go to the else and here i'm having pretty much similar functionality to this where parent id is equal, is equal to zero so here basically i'm just assigning the parent entity is equal to the new entity which could be like warm or warm cold or uh, hot okay and uh, here i'm pushing the data again i'm assigning the new parent id and an empty array as we did on the uh, first loop and after that i'm uh, assigning the children into that empty array and then parent id plus plus again okay so here basically i'm assigning the accounts based on the ratings and at the end let me just remove this comment it could as well and at the end we are just assigning this past data to the accounts which is connected to here to this lightning data grid okay so that was the functionality guys let me push it to the org okay so these are the records so let's say for the first record it will just create an empty json data with the cold rating and then it will push the 
children when the loop will run second time so it will basically check the new rating with the previous rating so the previous rating was uh, cold and the new rating is warm okay so that's how it will be checking the data and uh, if the data does not match so it will go in the else record create a new parent so that's why we are having another row here after that uh, the loop will run again it will find the similar rating so it will just add the child to the previous parent okay so that's how this self uh, parent tree grid works guys so that it is for today i hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching